Hey guys, Brian from Benham Brewing. I have Vanessa of the Fame Brew Crew joining me today. We're gonna bottle some of her beer and talk about the process and the equipment required to do it. Uh, if you're new to our channel, we're a home brewer support group. Uh, we do tutorials and product reviews and book reviews and things. So check us out at benhambrewinghpe.com. And in the meantime, let's get started. Let's get started, it's gonna be fun. Okay guys, first things first, let's talk about the equipment that you're gonna to need to bottle your batch of beer. Uh, you're going to need to get yourself a bottling bucket. Uh, if you're fermenting in a bucket, you'll need to get a second bucket to transfer into. Uh, I also recommend if you don't have one, getting an extra lid just because it helps keep things from falling into your uh, bottling bucket as you're bottling the beer. Bottling buckets are unique in that they do have a pre-drilled hole in them, so make sure you get one of those. In addition to the bucket, you're going to need to get a kind of a ball valve that goes with it that you will then attach your bottling wand. And this is what you're going to use to bottle, and we'll cover that in just a couple of minutes. Additionally, you're going to need sanitizer of your choice to sanitize your bottles and everything else that comes into contact with the beer. Uh, you're going to want some bottle caps. They come in different varieties and colors. Uh, and a bottle capper. You can get a very basic one such as this. Um, or if you're bottling a lot, because we've actually worn this one out, uh, we upgraded to a, a benchtop capper. So this one's a little bit faster, a little bit easier to use. This one works just as well. Um, you'll want to get a spoon to stir in your priming sugar. And again, we'll cover that in a moment. Uh, you obviously need some priming sugar. For today, we're using about five ounces of sugar. Uh, a siphon to transfer out of your fermenter into your bottling bucket. Uh, and last but not least, bottles. Uh, about two cases of bottles should do it. That's about 48 12 ounce bottles. First thing you should prep is your sanitizer. We like Star Sand for its quick contact time and really only needs one ounce of Star Sand per five gallons of water, so it lasts a very, very long time. It's important that everything that comes into contact with your beer from this point forward needs to be clean and sanitary. Star Sand recommends several minutes of contact time, uh, but I've heard from several other interviews from people from Five Star Chemicals, who makes Star Sand, uh, that you really only need 30 seconds of contact time and just wetting the surface is sufficient. Sanitize your bucket, spigot, and siphon to prepare the beer for transfer. Once everything has been sanitized, carefully insert your siphon into your fermenter to minimize stirring up any trube that is still resting on the bottom. Begin your beer transfer while minimizing splashing so you don't accidentally aerate your finished beer. Aeration post-fermentation can lead to oxidation and off flavors, something you really don't want in your finished beer. While transferring, go ahead and add your priming sugar, or corn sugar, to your bottling bucket. This little tiny bit of sugar will cause the yeast to start a mini fermentation that will actually end up carbonating your beer. Start by dunking a few beer bottles into your sanitizing bucket and fully submerge and fill them up. Continue to add additional bottles as you pull some out that you're filling to maximize contact time with the sanitizer. Attach your sanitized bottling wand to your bottling bucket, spigot, and open the valve. Next, take a bottle, dump out the sanitizer, and insert the bottling wand into the bottle. Gently press the bottle upwards to depress the wand's spring and start filling the bottle from the bottom up. Filling in this way helps minimize splashing and oxidation in your finished beer. 
when you're filling your bottles, let the beer come up all the way to the top of the bottle, almost to the point of overflowing. When you remove your bottle wand, you will end up with perfect and consistent headspace. While capping, have the bottle caps close by sitting in some sanitizer. When you're ready to bottle, take one cap, place it in the cap of your choice, they're usually magnetic so the bottle cap will stick, then crimp the cap on the bottle. Once you're finished bottling for the day, take all of your bottles and leave them out at room temperature for 7 to 10 days, around 70 degrees, 75 degrees or so. Leaving them at room temperature will allow the yeast to wake up, consume that final little bit of sugar that you added, and carbonate your beer. All right, guys, so we just finished bottling our beer. Vanessa, I have to ask, how do you think it went? I think it went great. There were no issues. It was fast. It was easy. I liked beer's, it. The beer's going to turn out nice, I think. I'm yeah. excited for it. Yeah. And it was interesting using the yeast that we did that it was a little bit hoppier than we anticipated, but I think it'll be nice. I think it'll settle out just fine. We'll yeah. have to see. Definitely. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, as always, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications when we have new content, and we look forward to seeing you again.